Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Paul here with Paul's Cool Scales. <laughs> so today we have uh, Rockstar and Madonna and Jowly, our Tegu in the background, wanting to come out and join the action that you might hear a little background noise, <laughs> um, scratching at his door. Um, so these are spiny tailed iguanas. So gotta see that spiny tail for the name. So spiny tail iguanas from Central America and Mexico, a smaller species of iguana. Um, this is a male here and a little female over here. Uh, he's actually pretty big for his species. Uh, this is more of the typical size with Madonna here. And uh, we have four of these guys, two males, two females. And uh, these are pretty much the top of the line for uh, this species, which is banana, pectinata, um, spiny tail iguanas, because I, they are Kelly Paul line, which are the highest yellow, um, very, very known for his for, uh, breeding of this species. So again, another one we're super proud to have. Um, again, not many people have this species and particularly this line of breeding uh, with the super high yellow. So they're pretty awesome. Obviously, Banana Pectinata, you can guess why they have that name. Um, they are yellow. And uh, as babies, they don't start out yellow, but they develop that as they grow. Um, the spiny tail is really, really sharp. And uh, they actually, most iguanas, um, if not all, use that uh, as like a whip in defense. So when they are feeling attacked, they can literally kind of... Uh, fling that tail like a whip at an approaching predator and give them a little second thought about attacking them or having them for a meal. So that is one of their main ways of defense. Um, these guys are very, very docile. Um, he actually goes to parties with us a lot, Rockstar, and uh, we put him on a table and he's super tolerant of little ridiculous hats we put on him. But yeah, as you can see, very, very docile species, uh, which is makes them uh, definitely a joy, uh, very rewarding reptile to keep. Uh, we are definitely hoping to breed these this coming year and uh, offer babies, uh, little captive bred babies. And it will be a, definitely a hot item because as you can see, very, very awesome um, docile species and a smaller iguana, some iguanas, the green iguanas are very, very common uh, in captivity, but not as docile um, typically, and they get like five feet. It's just a very, very large um, animal to try to house and keep. These guys are much more manageable. But yeah, so that is a spiny tail iguana. Um, they are herbivores, so they like their vegetables and actually omnivores, uh, like bearded dragons and others. They like their vegetables mainly, but um, also Enjoy the occasional bug. Thanks for having us and watching today. Ugh. Gotta look at the camera, guys. <laughs> I can show these guys. <laughs> they definitely prefer being perched on a shoulder or something of that nature. But yeah. <laughs> so that's these guys, and thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for another awesome video with another awesome reptile. <laughs>